For most of human history, education has been a walled garden, accessible only to the privileged few. In the 15th century, some people opposed the printing press, and in the 19th century, some academics fought against universal primary education. Today, the struggle to provide quality education continues. Open education resources are education materials that are free to use and can be adapted and customized. By providing universal access, OER are continuing the movement toward education for all. With OER, for the first time, it is actually possible to educate everyone. Take, for example, Femi. She's 17, lives in a large city in Nigeria, and once dreamed of becoming an engineer. But there are few university spots available, and her family cannot afford the fees. With some extra money set aside from work, Femi spends time at a local internet cafe. She logs on to MIT's website and starts taking chemical engineering courses. Starting with a few hours of internet each week, Femi works her way through video lectures, notes, and other learning materials. An electrical engineering degree from MIT costs nearly $200,000. But with open courseware and a lot of self-motivation, Femi is determined to learn. When Femi has questions about the materials, she logs on to Kuriki and finds thousands of additional videos and notes contributed by experts. Plus, since MIT uses an open license, lots of people have translated the material. Femi finds class notes in her local language, adapted with additional explanations. As the year progresses, Femi discovers others doing exactly what she's doing. She joins a study group at Peer-to-Peer -Peer University and builds a community of learners and friends from all over the world, China, Mexico, even others in Nigeria. Femi hopes to use what she's learned to get a better job. Perhaps someday she'll get school credit, maybe even a university degree. 10 years ago, Femi's story would have been impossible. But today, thanks to OER, we're building a more equitable and interconnected world.